nhớ đóng chồng cái chân nhớ cha, bao nhiêu cha đời mua lụa dòng chén đào tàu lần chín này nhớ đón nó nọ chứ nó nọ cũng cố tôi cho đón đợi lấy lúa chờ à chế tiệt hồ tàu hải tiền lấy cái gì nhớ đón lúa dòng sinh phò hồ lúa sẽ mình sốt ta America tê nữa nọ lúa họ phê cho bắp sồn cố tôi cho đón nó nọ nhớ cố cho tôi khâu vừa khâu mình gì lấy gì tôi thay khâu mình gì cho đón đợi khâu và lấy cho tuấn sơn trong tàu tàu một xỉ cho lúa tây trời mẹ và hồ tàu hải tiền Colombia nọ à nhớ cho lúc có thì tôi vẫn thích cổ y ta là lời nọ lời do cho nữ lúc chế cho là một cái chế đá của nhớ cho họ lời lúc chế tiệt của do lời cứ gì nhớ cho luôn trong sinh phò sẽ mình so tài nhớ cho nút nọ do lời nọ nút nọ của thế lời to to mù cover lời do to thay khỏi mình gì cho ai biết sự đời to say đời 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 cuối xa đời nọ do lúc chế tiệt nhớ cho họ luôn trong sinh phò đời nọ do lúc chế tiệt và mong lu và những nhau chữ lo lời đây là nhớ cho họ luôn trong sinh phò nọ do lời nọ ít liền nó à lời cho nó lúc chế là một trong đời lúc chế tiền nó của do cho biết sẽ là một sai không nên gì nhớ cho nút nó thiếu nhớ cho nút nó của do tôi một khâu về không nên gì cho trong đời khó lời do là một ối khó à để nó cho chăng cho lá lời do lúc cũng chăng và muốn để cho là một thao và cái trái đắt của nhớ cho hồ nó nhớ trong đời lúc chế tiền nó thiếu giờ lên đời lúc chế nó một lời giá tòn tê cho chơi nên thao của biết sẽ là một sai thế chế họ dùng lời trà thiếu họ tu xiêm một lời trà thiếu cứ tin nước trà đó tôi nói chuyện nên tôi trong một lý trà nhớ trong đời lâu lâu rồi nó chơi tiền nhớ trong lúc nào thì giờ lên đời thôi chơi này chơi này đâu có biết chơi đâu một say nhớ trong lúc chơi nó một lý trà tận thế Just a brief moment, just a brief moment. I know that we've been sitting for about an hour now. Uh, I'd like for all, everybody to kind of just stand up. No, no, you're not to share no. Go, you're doing the near. Go, I know more. You're best of luck. Nên lũ lũ cụ đây tôi sớm đã sớm cho nó cụ lũ cụ cho xe Mỗi bố cụ Cảm ơn các chị là nên tôi ủa đồ cụ ta Cụ cho chúng ủa nên cho Vì thì luôn tôi chỉ bế là nhân thiệt tế bế tổng ba nâng nợ Bế tổng ba nâng của tôi tốn giờ nợ nâng hạt thì Tôi chỉ bế lò lờ bế tổng ba cho hai nâng Họ tôi chỉ xí hậu hai cả xí hậu Cụ dân nè là nên một cái thứ này lùa cụ đồ nâng mù nên hai tia nè có yếu tố cũ là cũng là ba tế chợ có yếu tố ba cũ chỉ cũng yếu ba nữ thế à, em từ từ rồi rồi nhảy là yếu tố ba, em từ giấy từ tu mong nữ ba tận thọ luôn tiếp tiếp nữ chạy lo chạy mẹ chị hai anh chị nữ yếu luôn nặng tận thọ nữ bỏ từ từ chỉ muốn chỉ cho nã là liếc cá là được gọi yếu mua nữ để cho mua mua rồi là nè là chỉ mua là nã nữ lúc xe đâu xe rộng nữ còn nặng nhau 
你是一种的多年头了,非常多年,你可能老能到这个年,我能到这个年,我能到这个年,我能到这个年,我能到这个年,我能到这个年,我能到这个年,我能到这个年,我能到这个年,我能到这个年,我能到这个年,我能到这个
for you should it be of your own misfortune. Since December 11th, many people had called me to confirm and also to seek comfort over the loss of our beloved Dun Zha Xiong. One of my nephew at the age of 30 called me and said that he became a more mature and proud individual because of this visit to Joe had with my family. Another person called me and said she didn't want to disturb me during time of grief, but she has to let me know that her young children, aged 10 and below, were in tears, were in tears the minute the news on TV reported of Dunza's passing. And, and an elder called me and asked that we give our beloved Dunza Xiong an honorable celebration of life. And thank you all who work behind the scene for this beautiful celebration. These are just a few example of how far reach Tuju was in terms of multiculture and in terms of intergenerations. I'm sure all of you receive similar calls from your friends as well. Due to personality, activism, performances, touch many lives across the United States and beyond the Hmong community. One would say his mother gave birth to him, but he was God sent and was our inspiration. He was my dearest friend, a true friend that has been thick and thin with me as, I, as long as I know him for over 30 years. He was an honest leader, the proudest Hmong American of our time. I am honored to be his close friend in shaping the course of our Hmong American experience, both directly and indirectly, as well as giving Minnesotans and the community at large a better understanding of our people. He was the bridge for many of us and the voice that break down barriers for all. We will miss him dearly. As his friend, I had hope we will enjoy our golden years together. A few decades from now, in a senior's facility somewhere, and for sure, there will not be a dull moment with Dun Zha Xiong. He will be the reason that I or we wake up for, or in some respect, be woken by. And during evening, evening hours, I'm sure we might coalesce to plan our social and civil engagement for the next generation of Hmong and for the next generation of Minnesota. Yet, my younger brother has gone too soon. His eternal spirit is, in, is now in heaven, entertaining gods and angels. Back here, we have, we have given, he has given us a wealth of legacy and the courage to continue on fighting for fairness, equality, and justice, and to be proud as a Hmong person and upholding integrity. One may ask, had he fulfilled his vision in life, having gone too soon? The answer is yes. In fact, he surged beyond and was content to see what he had built for Minnesota 
and the Hmong community. Hmong American would not be where we are today without this selfless dedication of Dun Zai Xiong. And for those who love him, may God bless you. For those who love him less, please just love your children more for the next generation. After this week weekend, his body will no longer be in front of us, but his name will live on in Minnesota and in the Hmong community. That in time of hardship, in transition, in time of injustice, in time of lack of cultural awareness, rising forth is a hero by the name of Yang San. Dun Zai Xiong, which means, which is the meaning of his name. Yang San, Dun Zai. I will miss Dun Zai Xiong, our younger brother, for his gregarious, exuberant personality, for his energy and synergy at justice rallies, his multi-talent, his worth with students and his love for our people and the state that we live in together. We will cherish his legacy and contribution to society for years to come. With permission from the city of St. Paul and our mayor, Carter, I propose a marker to be put at Phelan Lake in his honor. It's likely that the unofficial Hmong Island at the lake be referred to officially as Dun Zai Xiong Hmong Island, where he sung, played, danced, storytellings, and on the laughter humor side, he would say, got rice? Question mark. That's one of his iconic phrases. While this work is in progress, and his name will be Echo Forward, Godspeed, my younger brother, Dunta, and Go, Mong Boy Go. We'll take care of loose ends for you. Thank you, everyone, for joining us here today on this celebration of our life. And thank you, Dun Zai Xiong, for being part of us. จะไปอยู่อมบอกเลยจ้างแล้วจะใจจิตเอานู้ Lanikongbe เกี่ยวนิ่งจอยจะตุ๊จะกี้จอยอย่างตอนเต้ไอ้ปุตังกุตุหาอลวันกี้เลยกูยังตอบเธอมุลุปอดซื้อเนี่ย
帮酒，别还能帮酒生命大，走路长特，老走几条，要走路得天路，哎，我长到就是太多，我长到就没给路，嗯，只能到公办一块 resolution， 六年民主党给做 Senator Susan Pa， 六下别六六，哎呀。Senator John Hoffman, you have the resolution? Okay. And I'd like to share the resolution reading with my fellow senators. I, I will start as a Senate resolution honor the life and activism of Tun Zai Xiong, whereas Tun Zai Xiong is one of the most altruistic Hmong American leaders of our time due to his activism for social justice and human rights impacting countless of lives across the United States. Whereas born in Baxay, Laos in 1950, uh, in October 15, 1973, as the eighth child of Tse Xiong and Sao Lu Vu, Dun Tse family escaped Laotian government persecution for aiding American during the Vietnam War by crossing the Mekong River. They started a new life in St. Paul in 1979 Du Zexiong graduated as valedictorian from Humboldt High School in 1992 and received bachelor degrees in political science from Carleton College in 1996. And whereas with talent and charisma, Tujer built his career as a satirist, performer, spoken word artist, motivational speaker, and Hmong storyteller. He gave over 1,600 presentations across the United States in the past 20 years to promote cultural awareness. Some of his well-known performances included Hmong Orphan Boy, the Go Hmong Boy Go rap, and impersonation of many popular iconic figures. He was also featured in the book Mission Possible. And whereas Tudor volunteered extensively to help communities and campaign for many prominent elected officials in the state of Minnesota. His community efforts earned him countless recognitions, including the Martin Luther King Social Justice Award, the Minnesota Nonviolence Day Mahatma Gandhi Award, and Bush Leadership Fellow. The annual Hmong Day at the Minnesota State Fair was his creation. Whereas caring deeply about his people in diaspora, Tujer became an iconic future figure for Hmong Americans, fighting for social justice, human rights, and equity. The numerous historic campaigns with his leadership include protesting KQRS radios, derogatory messages, the police killing of Fong Lee in Minneapolis, Wisconsin hunter incidents, the police shooting death of a monk farmer, and a hunger strike in Sikitu County, California. Whereas he had a love for traveling, dancing, singing, comic relief, live concerts, golfing, hiking, fishing, and exploring Minnesota's Boundary Waters and Wilderness Canoe area, where he went annually with friends, including our brother, Senator Fong Her. And... <laughs> Whereas through many talents, a big heart, in infectious laughter, Tujer was a fearless Hmong American leader who loved his family, impacted countless lives, and was dedicated to making this world a more just and joyous place. And whereas he once said, traveling the world can be exciting. Political uh, conventions are fun. Social justice rallies are a must performing in front of 6,000 people in an arena is an adrenaline rush. But by, many, uh, by my true happy place is when I don't hear a sound, except maybe a loon in the distance while my fishing line is in the water. 
Now, whereas uh, Tuger is survived by his mother, his six brothers, four sisters, 13 nieces, 12 nephews, and three grandnephews and friends all over the world. He will forever be missed. Be now therefore it be resolved by the Senate of the State of Minnesota that it celebrates the life of Tu Jo Hyung and recognizes his many years of activism. And this particular resolution will forever be recorded on this at the Senate. So we love to go ahead and present this to uh, mom after I speak then, okay. Thank you. Sorry, Dr. Najo, we uh, kind of change up your schedule. <laughs> That'll save you an introduction. Tujer was a great friend, a brother who had always, always supported strong women to be stronger. He was never afraid of a strong woman ever. He always loved strong, headstrong women, and that was why he was one of my best friends. Tujer's passing is a great loss to our entire community. He was not only an extraordinary comedian who made us laugh until our stomachs hurt, but also an activist who championed social justice and equity. He used his talents to bring all people together to fight for change. He believed that change started with me, with us, and that it was possible. We will never forget his famous phrase, I is Hmong, Hmong is I. Remember that? I can't say the way he does it though. <laughs> he always is hilarious how he says it. But that's my favorite phrase. I will never forget how at our Success That Looks Like Me book launch. It's this book that I brought and I'm gonna give to his mom. Um, at our book launch, he got Dr. Yang Dao Dr. Nyan Long Yang and uh, uh, Kai and it's Kai and a bunch of elders to come and do the Nene dance <laughs> in front. And the whole room bursted in laughter, not in uh, at them, but in joy of watching. Because that was how Tujer was, is he was had this ability to get people to do stuff that they would never do, okay? But he got them to do it, and they had the best time of their life doing it. I will always remember that about him. I, um, I have a very special book um, that I brought uh, for to Jer's mom, and it is my book, my copy of Success That Looks Like Me. And it's a special edition that has been autographed by all the 25 people featured in this book. Um, it's a very rare book and it can never be replicated. And I will just share that on, yeah, thank you. And on this page, two jurors, stories, he wrote on, he signed and he said, Keep hope alive, is what he signed. So I wanted to give this book to his mom in honor and remembrance of him. And he spoke much about his mother and the love that he had for her. And throughout our friendship, the best honor I ever had was that he shared his whole family with me. <laughs> his mom, all his sisters, his brothers, his sister-in-law. I just love that, because that was how he was. If you were a good friend, you were part of his family, and he drew you in. Tujer's absence is deeply felt, and will be mourned by all of us. 
My deepest condolence to his mother, who I know Tujer loved and adored immensely, and to his family, who he always spoke so highly of, and he cherished as his greatest supporters. The reason why Tujer is part of this book and why we all remember him so much and love him so much is because of all the reasons that Dr. Payne Jua Hyung beautifully spoke about in his eulogy that she gave. Thank you for that, that was so beautiful. And that was all the reasons why we love him so much. So my last words is, uh, My name is Melvin Carter, and I have the honor of serving this city as mayor. Um, I see with uh, us today our Ward 2 City Council Member Rebecca Naker, our Ward 6 Council Member Nelsie Yang, and I should uh, mention that we'd have several more here except uh, Council President Mitra Jalali and others uh, agreed to represent me and to represent our city at another event so that I could be here today. I'm doing double duty today because I'm here representing our city, our city government, the 300,000 people who live in this community. But I'm not really here because I'm the mayor of St. Paul and Tujer was such an incredible leader for so many members of our community. I'm here because every time Tujer and I saw each other, we used the word brother to describe one another. I'm here because Tujer has been a good friend of mine for over 20 years. And so in addition to representing the city of St. Paul, I also stand here as a representative of the entire Carter family uh, who feel a collective loss, who feel a collective hole in our heart at the loss of our brother, Tujer. I'm here representing my parents, who I know are here, Melvin Carter Jr. and Walitha Tony Carter, who are here sitting with us. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for being here as well. I've learned a lot through Tujer about many of the similarities our Hmong community and our African American community face. And one of them is we rock with family. And so it's, I, I appreciate you, Mom and Dad, being here. Uh, the Attorney General reminded us that there's much cause to celebrate. And that's true, because Tujer was a, a leader, an activist, a teacher, an advocate, a mentor, a big brother, a little brother, a son, a cousin, so many things to so many people. And I won't repeat the words that other folks have said, but there's one aspect of his life that I think may go unmentioned today. And I just want you to know that my good friend Tu Jershon was an absolute unrivaled genius at karaoke. <laughs> I was gonna say that he is, he was somebody who could have a ball, could have a one man party, no matter what everyone else in the room was doing. But that's not exactly true because his idea of a party was making sure you had fun too. His sort of globalism, and value for every other person was demonstrated by the fact that when the karaoke DJ, well I'll say if the karaoke DJ wasn't him, <laughs> and if he hadn't taken over the microphone from the karaoke DJ, <laughs> that when the karaoke DJ said, coming up to the stage next, Tujer, you didn't know what kind of song he was gonna sing. 
I knew him as the first Hmong rapper. So he might get up and sing some rap song. Uh, you see him in his cowboy hat. So he might get up and sing some country western song. And you know, they say music is an international global language. And he knew a lot of languages. He would put your name in. So that karaoke DJ might say, coming up next to the stage, Melvin. <laughs> and you wouldn't know what song he put in for you either. Or he'd be singing and he'd come and just grab your hand and next thing you know, you guys know me, I'm a very serious person. And somehow I'd find myself up on stage. Someone told me um, that there's some pictures of he and I in the slideshow and I'm very worried. <laughs> so pay no mind to whatever pictures they show because we were good at having a good, but, but here's the thing. All I'm saying is in those moments, he was somebody who showed that he could walk in any and every community. In those moments, he was showing by example, his ability to make everyone else feel comfortable. In those moments, he was show, you know, there's a lot of reasons not to follow your, that voice inside you. There's a lot of reasons not to do what your heart is telling you to do. There's an, a, a lot of reasons not to just be silly and have fun. There's a lot of reasons not to show up at a serious event in an Elvis Presley costume. Or a Paul Revere costume or a James Brown costume or any costume whatsoever. There's a lot of reasons when you see injustice that isn't personally targeted against you in the moment, not to speak up and not to recognize that all injustice is personally targeted against you. There's a lot of reasons not to make sure somebody else feels comfortable in a difficult situation. But in following his heart, Somebody said Tuzier made them a more um, mature person. And I sort of laughed because I often feel like Tuzier made me a less mature person <laughs> in the moment. <laughs> but he gave us license to do what our heart was telling us to do. Sometimes that just meant sing and dance and laugh and be silly. Sometimes that meant be very, very serious in our fight for human rights and equal justice. And there's a quote that says, when, when, when we follow our hearts, when we let our own light shine bright, that we also give others license to do the same. And every single moment that I've ever spent with Tuzier, he has given me license by virtue of just the free life that he lived. So, Mr. Attorney General, I appreciate your timely reminder that there's a lot to celebrate. Because I have to confess, it's hard for me to push through the mountain of anger that I hold. It's hard for me to push through this intense feeling that my friend Tujer gave so much more to the world then in the end, he ended up getting from us. And if the story stops there, then it's one of the most horrific injustices I've ever heard of. But the blessing for me and the blessing for you is that we still have those lessons. We still have the ability to put on a costume. We still have the ability to care for one another. We still have the ability to make each other laugh in an uncomfortable and painful situation to just make it a little bit easier. We still have the ability to speak up whenever we see injustice anywhere, whether it's in St. Paul or Minneapolis or hear it on the radio or in Wisconsin or California or anywhere in the globe. So my friend, 
Tuzier. Who taught me that rice could be eaten for any meal. <laughs> Who challenged me to think about what it must be like to just learn that you can use a toilet indoors for the first time. Who gave us lots of laughs and lots of joy as you embark on this journey I say to you the words that I've heard you say so many times. Go, Hmong boy, go, Hmong boy, go. And I just plead for all of you, with all of you, to do me the service, to do yourself the service, to do Tujer the service of not letting the story of all that he's given us stop in this moment but just to continue to follow his example. And in that sense, we'll say farewell to his physical presence today. But we'll know that his spiritual presence in our community will live on forever. Amen. Thank you. I just want you to just take a look at Tujer's face up here in the photo. And it's so hard for us because when we look at him, we want to cry because we miss him so much. But I know that in Tudor's spirit, he would say, smile at me because I'm smiling at you. So I hope that you are going to take that to heart to smile when you're looking at him. So how do I even put into words for the next few minutes the giant of a character that what Tudor was? The deep love of humanity that Tudor held, the incredible push for justice that Tudor had, the contagious positivity that Tujer shared, and the tremendous generosity that Tujer showed. Many of us have shared experiences in at least one of these ways with Tujer. La Banteke, who tell loots a bay high mong. Nying Kau de Cha, Ba Tashia Tanju. I could revisit Tujer's long list of accomplishments, including many social justice activism cases and support in political campaigns, to his many speaking engagements across the United States. But I think it's important to remember Tujer for what defined and motivated him to become who he was and what he is known for. Beyond the happiness that reflected in Tujer's aura, I want to share about how Tujer represented determination, inclusion, and authenticity. Tujer lived his life with purpose and determination. As a chubby little boy running after his older brothers and sisters, Tujer wanted to be part of the action. He wanted to play the outdoor games like his older brothers played. He wanted to follow his older sisters, follow them around and do chores like his sisters and talk with them. He wanted to do the things that his older brothers and sisters did so much that when they ran off to play by the river in Nam Soon, Laos, he chased after them. Even though he was only two years old and his chubby little body could not move fast enough, Tujer's older brothers and sisters went across that bridge to the other side of the river not knowing Tujer would follow them. Tujer kept chasing them, trying to move quickly across the bridge until he felt the pain on his feet. The soles of his bare feet were burning from the hot black asphalt bridge. That was one of the earliest examples of Tujer's determination. Tujer's determination to do more, 
to push himself more, to reach for more, started from those early chubby toddler days. His determination to do what he set his mind on brought him to many achievements as a child and to being valedictorian upon high school graduation. His determination brought him to help many people achieve success, as well as to drive his own many successes. Dunza Ying Yi Tzu Doshia, O Tso Yali Nilushia Sa, Yo Dunza Tzia Tzi Tau, Tau Hau Nilushia Tia, Nisa Tau Li Ya, Yen Ying O Tau Li Nilushia Sa, Having a sense of belonging is important to all of us. Tudor sought out his own belonging in any group or any place that he went to. He made it seem like it was effortless to create friendships and community. Tudor was the type of person who could walk into any place, not knowing a single person, look around confidently, and then find a spot to insert himself. At the end of the event, Tudor would have many new friends and would leave an impression on others. How did he do that so naturally? Most of us would walk into an unfamiliar place with unfamiliar people and still feel unfamiliar upon leaving. Tudor did this by just being himself which means he was not trying to change himself to be included, but he was including others, no matter how similar or different. Tudor looked for ways to unite people, found ways to show people what they had in common, celebrated differences and showed ac acceptance. His sense of inclusion created opportunities for people to be included. Tudor once said, as much as we're different, we're even more similar in many ways, one of his quotes. That was the essence of inclusion that Tudor used to build bridges and unite communities. Tudor was proud to be Hmong, and he embraced the cultural differences among many cultures. He spent time learning about his heritage, seeking and sharing cultural knowledge. Through the hundreds of speeches and shows that he did, he was Go Hmong Boy. Tudor wanted others, especially Hmong youth, to embrace their Hmong identities, to feel excited to learn about different cultures, and to practice self-love. He always made time to learn about other cultures through friendships, through community events, and through travel, which he loved to do. He believed his self-identity became clearer when he valued his roots. From his trips to Laos to see how and where his mom and dad grew up, to local community events in Minnesota, including the Hmong Minnesota Day at the State Fair, to national events and conferences, Tudor held deeply to the roots that grounded him and proudly declared being Hmong as a part of those roots. With these declarations and actions, Tudor remained true to his authentic self. Dunza, Hluza Behai Nimong, Nimashia Tabikam Hloa, Mudo Yalao. Dunza Ying Kang Nelushi Hal, Mundo Yalao, Shita, Hau Jay Lao. D Yali Nuping Shiha, Mukia Yaloa, Hau Jay Kanda. Yanu Niya Itun, a dot cha. So here we are today, trying to capture the giant character of Tudor, remembering the goodness 
that was within Tujer, channeling the positivity that was shining through Tujer. Yet, there is still this empty feeling in our hearts because Tujer was so much more to us than the public image that people saw. Tujer was so much more than the determination that drove his passions, more than the inclusive nature of his approach towards people, and more than the authenticity in his cultural identity. Tujer would want us to remember him beyond his public image. With others, Tujer could see what people needed and then he would help fill that need for them. And when he had a need, he always knew where to fill that need. Before he left for any trip, he would stop by for a prayer from mom. He would say, Nia, ka ba tandu doku. Whenever he was feeling down, he would stop by to be cheered up by the laughter from our kids. Tujer would get down to the level of the kids and he would joke with them, play with them, and listen to them. Times when he was worn out and tired, he would stop by and he would ask to take a nap on our sofa or on mom's bed sometimes. Tujer would say to me jokingly after his nap, Neti, I sure slept good. When he needed something and he needed comforting, he would stop by for home-cooked meals. Tujer didn't need to ask for food when he came. He knew he could always just walk to the refrigerator, check the refrigerator, and there would be home-cooked leftovers that he enjoyed. So beyond the public image, Tujer was a brother, a son, an uncle, a cousin, and a friend. Tujer was family. Tujer is no longer here with us. Tujer will no longer visit our homes for comforting food, good naps, or fun laughter. But I know that if Tujer were here right now, he would actually say, or pray for me, because he is going on his final trip. And since Tujer was a determined and inclusive soul, we know he would want us to keep his legacy alive. So Tujer, we dedicate the Tujer Shang Endowment to you. We hope to carry on your work in social justice and bridging communities. We hope to make you proud. I'll end in Tujer's words, there's enough people in this world claiming to be victims. So don't be a victim. Be a victor. Claim that and see how your life changes for the better. Thank you. I'm choosing not to forget him. I'm choosing to remember that the energy and the drive that he gave all of us so that we can continue to support and help each other, that's how I'm going to choose to move forward. So I'm going to turn this over to Representative Ethan Jung, uh, Ja, and that he is the Minnesota Asian Pacific Chair, and I think <coughs> Bishop Clay, he might know Ethan even a little bit longer than I did, so I'm going to turn it over to him. Thank you, Representative Herr. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody. My name is uh, Ethan Cha, Representative for Woodbury. So Tujer is my constituent. Today, I stand here as state representative Ethan Cha. But before then, Tujer was my representative. To Keith Ellison's point, <clears throat> he made people laugh at him so that they wouldn't laugh at me. He took that burden off me as a refugee. And I will always remember that. Tujer found the Hmong American in me. He gave me the courage. He lifted my spirit. He gave me a sense of belonging. And most importantly, he gave me a voice. Tujer is a North Star for us Hmong Americans. That is what he is. As chair of the MAP caucus of nine Hmong legislators and one 
Japanese American. I want to thank all my elected official partners and friends who are here today and those who are not in this effort. We've spoken a lot of English, so I'm going to speak in my native tongue. Kelo English with the high dollar that should not be high long to get a seat, to pick a good thing at the root of China. No, no, but do not wait to not junior doughty would be to tell you about the basin. We even shot the one now, or you might be some Bob Badoku, who did not say young. Not a good deal would be. Yon is your bow, the sheep big upon you, holy good brotherhood. It's you, so to the what good deal. Not get young to hold to a chain. Open to good deal of the Texas store, Arkansas. Which I need to get it out here, get punky here, it's one to do. Can you get see? Sorry, Dunia. Take it in the net. One in Chama. Be more name. Get up, baby, me to me, you are to look at me car. Long part of the pop, it's all a. The sheep bit of a to south here, they do so. Ilu chato bet you po, the shi li hong hia, bet o gap, bet mo ki zhen zhe, bet mo niang mo zi, e du nia, se du zhao bet zhe la wu hai li na, yi ya, yi tu du de gao tia, e wo ka zhe na, do ge niang ge zi niang do lu tuo zhe na. Bet lao de ke mi ga na, gu hei zhe mi a refugee, bet zhe mo a, lu mi ga bet you po, Bé mù cần tớ Lô tê lô bê Chú bê Ô lô nâng nhá tê kì mì gà nó ít thú tù lùa Ít sẽ kêu bò yì kèo chì yông yì kèo kèo lì Tê xì bê kì tù lùa tù lò lô tê kì mì gà nó thê kèo chài Mô yì thù kì tì yì thù phân yù yì thù phá ế Hồ lì tùn dạo hông Nì chì chà mò hòm hông Hai tu nè kia mi tu mi nhuà, kia nè kia tì nhuà nè. Kù yè tì mi mi mong, zà mòa, hà tì kù yè mong. Tì xì vì mò tùn zè, lò xè kè, tì thai bè kè mi yè mong, bè tì lì chì zà mòa wà mong. Hai lè nà tù nè bò, kù yò yì tù mi yè mong tè. Hò nà yè tùn zè, jà dà nè, his legacy. Bè mù tò hà tù, Bên xa mùa Thì chỉ tuân dẫn Nhiều tù tổng thân Nếu nhiều tù mùa ăn tê Bên lợi giả khác Nếu một chờ hấu Nếu cho chờ thả ta lợi Bên một chờ là kì đi bao bên lợi Bên chờ hãy lo lũ Là nhờ bên kia phân hiệu Còn nói nhờ tuân dẫn Họ bằng sự Bên bên đó tuân dẫn Họ phân hiệu nhỏ Nếu tổng kia bên lợi Bên bên lợi 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 Yali sinner for her, hi, but Yes, sir, for her, you have to what did the two gay. Go, you have to what good the two. You're in there. A pay you a point in she looting there. Bend the dog to your honor. Go, hi, Lina, who's out there. Go, hi, donate here. Tuấn sợ, thông nào của tôi nói chỉ trong đi chỉ trong cũ lại. Số giờ cần chỉ cũ có bỏ cũ mà có luôn nhà sự, cũ yên cho có lúc xuống, cũ yên cho có lo lù, có hai trăm cũ. Cũ kia của lúc nào trong nọ trong chữ, cho giờ tụi tôi đọc cũ thả. Hai tàu cũ mới bóng kia cũ chỉ hai. The sheep gun tie, you won't go on it here. We've been in Hong Kong for a game. Tom, we don't drop a check to inside who to the poor, the poor team. What did you? I know, no good to hike a luna, good to inside. You're your god here. Mujo kama, 
the no we are eating job got to not to chew yet a word berry got to do from go home to go got to do and go to 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 go well, good afternoon, and it is my honor to join you all today to remember and celebrate this remarkable life of Tuzhou Zhang. To Tuzhou's family, um, and on behalf of all Minnesotans, I offer my deepest condolences for your loss. And today we feel the heavy weight of grief but also the immense love and pride that we all have had for this so lovable person and the life that he led. So thank you for sharing him with all of us today and for allowing us to honor him together. Tujur was a son and a brother and an uncle and a nephew and um, a friend. He was a comedian and a storyteller. He was a social activist and a leader he wore many hats and he filled many roles, but in all ways, his life was about building bridges and connections between people and cultures for the good of all of us. And everywhere you turn, you see his influence and impact um, in the arts and education and politics and social justice work, he's there. Tujur was a leader in the Hmong community, certainly, but his impact is felt in all communities. And through his stories about Hmong culture and heritage, he reminded all of us of our strength and our resilience and our connection to one another. These were Tujur's stories, but they belong to all of you and all of us. You know, I'm always proud to remind my colleagues in the United States Senate that Minnesota is home to the largest urban Hmong population in the whole country. And in every facet of life here in Minnesota, I see countless contributions from this strong, resilient community. Gifted and dedicated Hmong elected and community leaders, certainly, but also leadership and entrepreneurship and creativity in food and art and dance and business and nonprofits and philanthropy. Tujur personified the strength of this community that can be found everywhere in this community. You know, he was fearless when it came to standing up for what is right, whether in sharing stories on stage or speaking out for fairness and justice or just being there when people needed his help and support. He challenged all of us to work for a world where everybody has a voice in their, and their voice is heard and where every culture is accepted and celebrated. Tujur was often described as a person who made people laugh and he wanted to make sure that we were having a good time and he constantly reminded us to smile but he also reminded people to think about the, the hurt of injustice and then to feel the compelling need to take action against that injustice. And even as he made us laugh, he was showing us that the power of laughter helps, it's, it's a powerful tool to fight injustice. I know that he was always working to build a world where everybody has the freedom and the opportunity to be their very best selves. You know, I will always think of him as a happy warrior of sorts in the long line of other Minnesota happy warrior leaders who tied joy and laughter together in the hard work of activism and education and building a better world. Tujur's in his life celebrated the joy of being a human in all of its complexity and beauty and pain. So, as we celebrate his life today, let us all hold onto his spirit of joy and resilience and strength. May his memory be a blessing and an inspiration. And may the light that he shone 
as he lived, illuminate our lives and work as we go forward without him. Thank you. I want to thank all of you for allowing us, uh, me and my family, to join with you to honor the legacy of Tujur. Uh, my wife is, is here with me today. Her name is Monica Hurtado. And her hometown is uh, Medellin, Colombia. And she uh, and her dear friend, um, Senator Torres Ray, traveled to Medellin to help Dennis and Ich family members to make arrangements to return Tujur's body to Minnesota. And I want you to know that they somehow felt a duty and a responsibility because they're from Colombia. But I want you to know that Colombia and Medellin are full of wonderful people and in no way does this despicable act that these criminals did reflect on the people of Colombia. In fact, as Tujur represents the best of us in the United States, many people in Colombia, their heart is heavy because of the tragic incident that occurred. And I want you to know that Colombians condemn this horrible behavior. Um, today is a sad moment because Tujur won't be able to walk in a room and tell a joke and wear a costume and be who he was and light up the room the way that he does. It's sad because of that. But in many ways, there is cause for joy, friends. There is cause for joy because we had a chance to bask in the glow of this man. It was too short. But it was good when he was among us. He was funny, he was brave, he fought for justice, he was a risk taker. When you put on a silly costume, there's a chance that people are gonna laugh at you. But what they did is they laughed with him. When you rap, maybe people won't like it. But when we heard him rap about the history of the Hmong people, you didn't have to be Hmong to love it. Everybody loved it and was built and edified by it. It takes a risk to get up and dance like nobody's watching when everybody's watching. He didn't care. People might laugh, but you know what? His risk taking, his ability to get out there and do what his heart told him to do was a tremendous gift to all of us. He wanted to see Hmong people in leadership. Not only did he see the great Senator Mi Moore get elected as the first Hmong American in any legislature anywhere in the United States, maybe the world, many, many, many more have followed after him. I saw my friend Sai Tao here earlier today. I miss him. He moved to Florida. Beautiful man. But then many others have followed in his his way. Kylie is here. Senator Fong Her is here. Um, one of my former staff members, Kajapa Lee, is here. Ethan Cha is here. And if I didn't call your name, don't be mad at me. I love you too. I just don't see you right now. And so he started with one, but look how many have come after. This is cause for joy, friends. This is cause for us to feel like, wow, we got to experience this man. And let me just remind you, the moment Tujur was born, he was going to leave this world, just like all of us. The question is not whether he was born and was going to die. He for sure was going to do both. But what was going to happen in between? And for that reason, we must take him as an example of how to live. Tell a joke even if nobody's going to laugh. Fight for candidates who you believe in, even if they don't win. Wear a silly costume, even if people might laugh at you. This is the man who gave us an example of how to be on this earth. How to be on this earth. And we thank him for it.
and we thank God for it. Amen. Good afternoon. To Tuzier's family, on behalf of all Minnesotans, please accept our deepest and heartfelt sympathies. Tuzier to you was a son, a brother, a brother-in-law, an uncle, a nephew. To the many friends who are here, I found that since this tragedy happened, it's very hard to find a Minnesotan who doesn't have a Tuzier Zhang story of some kind. You don't have to walk very far and someone will tell you the story. It's been on the minds of Minnesotans now. Uh, just coming in, uh, Senator Hoffman mentioned that uh, Tuzier would show up at the golf tournament dressed as Paul Revere. Yeah. So, <laughs> and I didn't know this. My dear friend, uh, Senator Fong He mentioned that for 20 years he traveled with Tuzier on an outdoor adventure every year. Um, all of those things to each of you are personal. All of those things are true. To Minnesotans, Tuzier was a treasure. Tuzier embodied what we would like to think we are, the best of what we are. Kind, empathetic, funny, patient, and determined. You heard a little bit about that. We witnessed it in public life of seeing a true champion of social justice. And it's one thing to hold those beliefs, it's another to take those beliefs into the public square and make change. And I think it's become apparent to everyone, the Hmong community is so deeply a part of who we are as Minnesota. To lose a giant like Tuzier strikes at the heart of all Minnesotans. So please know that legacy that Tuzier has made will continue to ripple out. I hope not just Hmong youth, but I hope all of our youth learn and continue to tell the story of Tuzier's life. I'm grateful for the endowment that'll be moving forward to make sure that happens. And there's a story to be told here that all Minnesotans should aspire to. A kind, gentle soul who cared deeply about those around and did it with a sense of humor. And I think we could all agree, we could use a little more Tuzier in our lives. We could use a little more of that in our daily lives. So on behalf of the people of Minnesota, I have the privilege and the honor to issue the official proclamation. Whereas Tuzier Zhang was born in 1973 in Laos, he spent four years in a Thai refugee camp as a child before coming to the United States in 1979. Tuzier made a massive impact with his comedy, his rap, his motivating words, and his presence. His unique way of storytelling helped thousands of people feel seen, heard, and understood. He is known for uniting individuals in the face of challenging issues and shedding light on marginalized and excluded communities. Tuzier was active in political empowerment, racial justice, education equity, and civic engagement. He founded Mong Day at the Minnesota State Fair as a way to celebrate the heritage of our various communities. His efforts aim to preserve Hmong history and pride for all future generations. His passion for community led him to intern at Congressman Bruce Vento's Washington office. This experience helped him to organize volunteers back home in Minnesota to elect Senator Mimoa, the first Hmong American state senator in history. Tuzier was tragically killed in Columbia on December 11th. He was survived by his mother, six brothers, four sisters, 13 nieces, 12 nephews, two grandnephews, and 5.8 million Minnesotans who loved him. Following in the spirit and passion of Tuzier, his family has set up the Tuzier Zhong Endowment. The fund has helped establish support his legacy moving forward and fostering community and advancing social justice. Tuzier will always be remembered as a beloved social justice champion, leaving a lasting impact on Minnesota and across the globe. He was a passionate community builder, cultural bridger, intergenerational connector. Tuzier's impact on our community will never be forgotten across Minnesota. Now, therefore, I, Tim Walls, Governor of Minnesota, do hereby proclaim Saturday, January 27, 2024, as Tuzier Zhang Day.
Education equity in civic engagement field is artistry, community building, and organizing work, and drove him to lead grassroots campaigns for some of the most important events and cases in the Hmong communities nearly 50 years in America. And whereas Chu Zhejiang's commitment to the Hmong community was exemplified through his participation and involvement with numerous boards, election campaigns, and committees and task force, including serving on the boards for Hmong National Development Incorporated and Hmong American Partnership, and co-founding Community Action Exchange. I should have a show of hand, particularly is there an empty seat next to you that uh, nobody's sitting. Uh, we got some people that are still in the back as well too, so particularly those that are in the back, and you guys may be seated. <laughs> Mom would like to say a couple of words for everybody who comes here and going to speak or speak already to all the people around here. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.